right back. Vantage point, the start of the second half here at Tyne Castle. Hearts and Hibs drawing one apiece. Uh, tremendous second half of prospect after the first 45 minutes and anything to go by. Hibs with two victories in the league against Hearts this season by 2-1 and 1-0. The 2-1 game was here at Tyne Castle. That game a 0-0 draw. So a couple of fine goals in the first half. And Keith Houchin certainly made his mark for Hibs. Already a favourite of the Hibs fans. Here's Houchin again, chesting it down, using Collins. Hunter playing it wide for May. Headed back into space was by Evans. Here's Eddie May. Is a good break this for Hibs. At the far post is Houchin marked by Bannon. Guy wins it from Houchin. Cross goes Neil Orr, who does such an important job for Hibs in front of the back four, the linchpin in midfield. Cahoon playing it forward. There's Ian Ferguson, headed by Ray. There's a chance for Galloway. Trying to go beyond Gordon Hunter, setting it up for Kenny Black. And Hunter was there to block it. Frustration for Black. A good break this from Hart. Galloway setting it up for Kenny Black. And Hunter spread himself to block the shot. And Gordon Hunter will require some treatment before he can continue. Was something of a surprise to me at any rate that he came out to the second half after the knock he took in the first half and that tackle from Kenny Black which is in the Hearts player being booked and it now appears as though Hunter is in the wars again a very determined young man he wants to remain in the field there's Bannon now with a corner for Hearts get it out by Mitchell Bannon has a chance to return it Paul Kane is in the way, but it's a corner to Hearts. Bannon playing it in, Gordon was on his own in the six-yard box. Here's Hunter now breaking on the left for Hibbs. He appears to have shrugged off that injury. Looking for Evans through the middle, that's Houchin. Get away by Berry to Orr. For me, Al Houchin, well robbed by Bannon, neatly touched away from the Hibs player. Houchin concedes the throw. So that's an easy one for Sanderson to tidy up for Hearts. Hunter doing some climbing as he goes up with Ferguson. The free kick to Hearts. Ferguson to McKinley going outside May good recovery that by Eddie May he was very quick indeed getting back cutting off the cross from McKinley Spence, uh, corner kick. this time it will be taken by Gary Mackay again the short corner again only one hips player going out Mackay plays it in and it's here Ferguson who turned it over well, Hibs may look to regret this policy of sending only one man out for the short corner. There was Gary Mackay driving it in and Ferguson going for the ball. He couldn't direct it under the bar. enough 
as Hochen. Back with Collins. Looking there for Paul Kane. There's Orr and Collins again. There's Orr using Graham Mitchell. It will go all the way back to Gordon, my fancy. Well, that is a credit to the Hawks' diligence in midfield. They close down the hip players. Left no options for a pass in midfield. Hodgson is well up. Look off Collins, does Eddie May with a chance for Hibbs. Great goalkeeping by Smith. Superb save by the Hawks keeper at just at a crucial moment. There was Eddie May breaking away from Craig Levine on his left foot. Smith going out to close him down and spreading himself to block the shot. Cahoon brought down by Snedder, and that'll be up again. Brilliant turn that by John Cahoon. It's come to no harm as it happens, but it certainly was a clear foul by Snedder. Ball played forward by Bannon. Just look at the way this is guarded by Cahoon, turning away from Sneddon and then brought to the ground. So the third booking of a very tough match. Alan Sneddon is the culprit this time. Taken short, Levine and Bannon together. Tackle came from Evans. Well, he really is a lively player for Hibbs. Gareth Evans never stops for a second. There's Galloway with the pressure from Mitchell and Sneddon. Mitchell's clearance goes straight to Bannon. Angling it in towards Kenny Black. No power on the header. Gonna made that look easy. But Graham Mitchell, I'm sure, will be relieved because his clearance going straight to Eamon Bannon could have caused problems for the Hibs defence. Evans chesting it down well, trying to get away from Levine. Well, there was a handoff there by Levine, an angry reaction from Evans. Referee Bob Valentine content that that was not serious enough to get it. Heavy action, but there was Evans. He was held off by Levine. Not much doubt about that, I reckon. Players now stumbling and clashing to try to get to the ball, and Gareth Evans certainly was reckless in that eventual challenge. What a warning suffices for both players from referee Valentine. It is Hibbs who had the free kick the original handoff. Here's Neil Orr, Gordon Ray's in the box. Just towards Evans. Here to be bundled from the back a little by Jimmy Sanderson, but the referee gives the throw to Hart. Orr coming to the ball in determined fashion. Up goes Houchin. Levine through the middle, down goes Robertson. The flash there with Gordon Ray. And the referee is going to have a walk with the hit skipper. Well, it appears as though the referee considers this was deliberate by Ray. And I think Ray is protesting that there was no intent here. Well, the ball was played through the middle here. Robertson turned to go for it. Flashed there with Gordon Ray. And that's why the yellow card has been shown to the hips We kick to Hearts, too far out for a direct shot, I reckon. Although Ian Ferguson may have other ideas.
Hunter. There's Orr. Got a tackle there on Black. There's Collins winning it back for hits. Well, that's good play from Collins. Well, running into that ruck of players in maroon and losing possession eventually. There's Ferguson putting out McKinley on the left. Robertson calls to the ball in the middle, up he goes. There's Robertson. Robertson, that's one for the Cahoon to chase toward the corner flag. 